Hey guys, Pokefan C Dog here. And in this Pokemon Platinum walkthrough, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna be getting to that survival area place. Oh well. If you come over here, there's gonna be a hidden trainer. Kind of. Not really hidden that well, but. Oh yes, yeah, she is. Because I didn't even see her. Um. She's on a Flaffy level 55. And that's probably not gonna be good for me, but I'll just go ahead and surf. And I'll. Probably will kill it, but I'm not too sure. I don't know. And I do, so that's cool. That's good. And he sends out a Tropius. Oh my goodness. Oh, whoops. And now I'm probably going to die because I accidentally used Surf instead of Ice Beam. Oh, well, no, that's not going to be too bad. Um, I guess I could just Ice Beam now. That was a fail on my part. And I kill the thing. And I almost level up. So anyways, if you keep coming over here, there's some there's a tree you can cut down. And then if you come over here, you can get some berries. And you get a kelp berry. Oops, I do not want to plant a berry. No, thank you. So you get a tomato berry. It's not a tomato. It's a tomato. Which is kind of stupid, but, you know, whatever. Oh, you can't even go that way. So you have to come this way. Um, if you want to come down here, you can get an... Oh, this is the survival area. Then what the hell is up here? Oh, excuse my language. Then what the heck is up here? Let's see. Oh, just a trainer and a Pokeball. No wonder. Go figure. He's a Dragon Tamer. That's good. I can just Ice Beam him. My Milotic will level up. That is awesome. So I level up to level 60. It's great. And then he sends out an alter, Altaria, Altaria. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but whatever. I'll ice beam that thing again. And kill it. Gain a lot of experience. I gain some money for winning. And then you can get a Dawnstone. Such a waste of a battle, but whatever. Um. So, I'm probably going to have to get into a... Yeah. Battle. Rattata level 47, dude. Come on now. Get off the rare candies. I mean, seriously. Come on now. I'm gonna fight another one too. Oh no, I'm not. That was good. And over here, this is the survival area, so I was right. And this is the Pokemon Trainer Battleground thing. Underground battle thing where you battle gym tr gym leaders and like people you helped out in your game and everything. Whatever. Um. So, yeah. Cool cool beans then you're gonna wanna come You're gonna, first that's what I wanted to do I wanted to help my Pokemon and then uh, I'm probably gonna switch this guy out and then get my Star Raptor back out in front 
And then, let's see, if you come down here, he doesn't give you anything. And he says, oh yeah, I filmed that. Outstanding. Red Yeros. So he gives you TM42, which is Fakeade. So that's cool. Fakeade's a good move, actually. I probably should teach it. No, no, never mind. I don't know. I just like fake hate is a good move to be honest with you. It's it's actually really powerful. It's really helpful. I mean, if in double battles because most of the time you're I mean not double battles, Wi-Fi battles because I mean if you're po you're most likely gonna be poisoned or paralyzed due to toxic spikes or, or toxic or oh no that that over there is another move tutor. I really don't want to go over there because I don't want to teach my Pokemon some moves. But thank you. But now, we're not going to be going to Stark Mountain now. We're go actually going to be getting to the um, other... Dang it. We're actually going to be the getting to the other areas of this place island thing. Of this battle frontier get thing. I don't know. But that's what we're going to be doing. So, whether you like it or not, it sucks for you. Or, I don't really know. It's good for you. It sucks for you. Who cares? He's going to have a Tyrogu, which actually is good for me. Because the Intimidate will cut its attack, so he won't do anything if my return does not kill it. And he go, Oh, he uses Fake Out. I was going to say, there's no way. He's got to be EV trained in speed. So bad. But, whatever. Fake Out makes you flinch. Six damage. It's just a waste of life. Um, I think he's going to send out a Hitmonchan, and I'll just probably fly. And then, yeah, he's counter, which was just a fail. Oh, that's, mm, that was really smart on him, his part. I'm going to fly up again. Hopefully he won't use detect. He uses close combat and fails. No, and he didn't use protect that time, so I guess I got lucky. Not really lucky, but whatever. Super effective, and he will die. Oh, and surprisingly, he didn't have a Hitmon Lee or a Hitmon Top. Um, let's go up here. Oh, there's just berries up here, so it's nothing that interesting. A Qualit Berry. Um, and a Pomig Berry. So this, so we get a Pomig Berry. And then we will climb down this mountain. Again. And then rock climb down this thing. And then finally we will rock climb down this thing as well. There's a lot of climbing right here. Carbo, so you can sell that for a high price or use it. To gain speed. Then go up this thing. Which and then you come over here, get a Pokeball. A lagging tail. I don't that just makes you slower. Like that's only good if you have like That's only good if you have like a trick room strategy but I mean like if you have trick room and then you have one fast Pokemon but I don't know the point of putting that in this game was kind of pointless but anyways return he's got a Dratini I kinda wonder if you fight a Dragonite in this game possibly could so he levels up to 59 then he sends, he's gonna send out an Altaria Altaria. I don't even know how you pronounce that thing. Um, I'm gonna return it. And he could possibly die. Maybe do. Yeah. That's good. Dragon Dance. I don't think he's gonna be fast enough to take down my Starstruck. If he does, then he's gonna piss me off. Of course he does. And this is gonna hurt. Well, 
That was kind of pointless to use Dragon Dance if you're not even going to use a physical move. I mean, really? But, whatever. Gyarados with Dragon Dance is the best, probably. So is Garchomp, but you can't even teach it to him. But Dragonite's good, and Solomance is as well. Um, I'm actually going to go to the second... Oh, well, I actually forgot you could battle this girl over here. Um, you battle her, and she's going to have some Pokemon. Um, uh, my most dreaded part is coming up, actually, which is the desert, which will be in the next video. We'll be passing by Stark Mountain and that route, and then... We're going to be going to the desert place, and oh my god, I hate that part. It's just so annoying. It's going to take about a video or two, and it's just, you don't even know how bad I hate that part. It's just annoying to get through. But it's it's okay. Whatever. He's going to send out an exit two, and I'm just going to train my Starstruck to level 60. And return that thing. And then return it again. Because it almost died, but it didn't. Unfortunately. Um, Exit 2 dies. Brings back memories from Pokemon Silver level 40 thing in the Elite 4. I don't know. Um, so that's that guy. Girl. Whatever. Uh, let's come down here. This is actually kind of a boring route. I mean, you just climb up and down the rocks. Oh, here you get Energy Ball, which is helpful. Actually, that is good for teaching Alakazam, because Alakazam, really, the only moves Alakazam can know is, like, uh, psychic moves, unless you teach it. Shadow Ball, Psychic, Shockwave, Energy Ball, or something else. I don't know. I'm tired. I'm sorry, but I'll probably be doing another walkthrough video after this one. But, I don't know, I'm just tired. I'm doing a lot today. I actually, this is probably my fourth one today. Actually, oh, there's two items over here. You get a tiny mushroom. And you can also get a... Oh, another one? What else is over here? Hold on. You can get a PP Max. And that's actually really helpful, so you really want to come up here. And then a big mushroom as well. So that's really cool. You get some good stuff right there. And then we're going to climb back down here. And we're going to go to... Or actually, we got to battle some more people over here. So let's get on our Pokemon and surf. from Lydia. She has a Meryl, level 54, and I don't know why these people haven't evolved their Pokemon. It's after the Elite Four, and they still just... Oh my goodness. It's crazy. So let's return the Meryl. Then she's gonna send out a feel. Hopefully my Starstruck will level up this um, this battle, or the, probably this route. I'll level up in this video. I got about a minute left. I'll probably be able to do this battle in another one, and then that's it. Oh, uh, no, I won't level up. It's just a Whalmer. A fat little piece of crap. Oh, excuse me. Um, and that thing dies. Surprisingly, that thing's got a lot of HP. So does a whale lord. And then, oh well. Oh, let's just go ahead and get this thing. Well, is there something over here? Yeah, there is. Probably a rare candy. Oh no, it's just a hard skill. That's all. Kind of stupid, but whatever. Um, that was just a waste of time. Oh, Repel's effect wore off. So now we are going to 
Actually, I want to battle this chick and then walk inside the house and save it. Oh, no, it's a guy. I thought it was a chick, but... It's okay. Um, he has three Pokemon. I'll be able to finish this video in 17 minutes about... Give this guy a close combat. And he will die. Preferably leveling up. Oh. He dies. Oh, and I don't level up. Another Carvahana. Carvana. Carvana. Carvanha. Carvanha. Wow, I thought it was a Carvahana or some shit like that. Excuse my language. I gotta stop with that. Um, a Carvanha. A Carvana. Carvanha. I never really took the time to read that name. That's just, I don't know. Whatever. I don't really care. Carva Carvanha dies. And I level up to level 60. And then he has a Sharpedo. Wait, does Carvanha... Yeah, he does. Wow. I don't think I ever realized that. So I'm sending out my Infernape in close combat to Sharpedo. Hopefully I strike first, or he's going to be able to use a powerful move and kill me. Or a water move, I should have said. And I do strike first. And I kill that thing. I better. Which I do. So that's awesome. Yeah, and about a 17 minute video. So let's move my Starstruck over. Now I'll be training my Guard Chomp and Infernape. And so yeah, that's all in this video. I'm sorry for being kind of boring and tired in this video. I don't know. It's just... I was... I'm tired. Oops. Let's see. Uh, I'm just tired. And I'll be doing another walkthrough tonight. Remember, this is my fourth or fifth. This is my fourth today. I'll be doing another one after this. So next video, I'll probably be even more tired. But yeah, later.